Hello, Mike Perry here at Mike's Take on the Movies.com. Picked a film today from 1973, Dillinger. The reason I did is very simple. There's four actors in this movie that I will watch any movie they appear in. They're not stars, they're just faces we all know. For starters, Warren Oates. He's in the lead role, he's John Dillinger. Warren has been in films for years prior to this, a lot of television. Graduate of Sam Peckinpah's stock company, uh, member of the Wild Bunch, famous western. His co-star, Ben Johnson, in this film. Another member of the Wild Bunch from uh, Sam Peckinpah. Remember the John Ford Stock Company earlier in the 50s. Been around for years, had just won an Oscar prior to this film. Plays G-Man Melvin Purvis, who's out to get Dillinger. Also in Dillinger's gang are two faces in this movie of guys that have been... You'll know them when you see them. Harry Dean Stanton. Still making movies today, just appeared in The Avengers as an old security guard who finds the Hulk. Harry started in films in the 50s, in the 80s, all of a sudden became a lot more well-known, having appeared in uh, cult film Repo Man. Also in this film, another character actor, Jeffrey Lewis. A lot of Clint Eastwood films. Uh, every Which Way But Loose, Any Which Way You Can, he's Clint's partner. Turns the hat every time Clint gets in a fight. Um, also in the film, Cloris Leachman, actress who, uh, of course, has been around for years. Uh, Academy Award winner, started in films in 1955, uh, appeared in Mel Brooks films, and is still active today as well. The film is, is written and, and directed by John Milius. Here's a guy who did a lot of violent themed films in the 70s, uncredited, uh, Dirty Harry, I believe, wrote Magnum Force, wrote the screenplay for Apocalypse Now, went on to uh, direct and write Conan the Bar Barbarian, uh, as well as Red Dawn, the original 1984 film, I believe. Um, other members of the cast are, are a lot of familiar faces. John P. Ryan is in the film. Uh, if you've seen Runaway Train, he's the warden out to get John Voight. Good film if you haven't seen it. Um, probably the most famous face in this movie is someone you will know by name, Richard Dreyfus. He's young, he plays babyface Nelson. He's nasty, okay? Um, but he's doing his job in the film, I guess, uh, as a protagonist. Uh, the film is violent, make no mistake. Uh, it's from uh, America, uh, AIP, uh, which was a film company that did a lot of exploitation films. Um, a lot of young directors got their, cut their teeth through that company, uh, much like Roger Corman's stable of filmmaking. Most of the legendary John Dillinger clips are in this film, uh, escaping from prison with a soap gun, uh, the violent gun battle at Little Bohemia, as well as the ultimate ending at the Biograph Theater, where John has attended a Clark Gable film, Manhattan Melodrama, that is supposedly based on his life. Um, Dillinger had been done on film before, as early as 45, I believe, all the way up to just recently, a couple years back, Johnny Depp plays him in Public Enemies from uh, Michael Mann. But I've always felt this is the go-to film if you want to see a gritty 1930s flavored gangster film based on Dillinger. Uh, Warren Oates even looks like Dillinger, which adds to the flavor. And it's unfortunate Warren, Warren died in 1980, didn't, uh, 1982 I believe, uh, not long after. Most people may know him from the film uh, Stripes, where he plays Sergeant Hulka opposite Bill Murray. And... Um, you know, I'm not trying to say this is as good as Bonnie and Clyde, but if you've seen Bonnie and Clyde and you're looking for something similar, uh, similar in that flavor, this is a good go-to film for uh, 1930s gangster flicks. Uh, but be warned about the violence. Other than that, uh, check it out. It's readily available on DVD. Thanks for tuning in. It's Mike Perry at Mike's Take on the Movies.com.